Hello, how are you? How's your day been? Tell me about it in the comments. I'll read it properly. Yes, I know, it's it's still 2017 and, and it's less than 2016 movies, but, but I, I saw Hacksaw Ridge. It came out in 2016, okay? It, it still counts. It's 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 still it's still good. This will probably be the last one though. I'm running out of films that came out in 2016. This is probably definitely probably the last episode. Probably. Almost definitely. Probably. I don't usually go in for war films, but I enjoyed this one, so maybe I should go in for more war films. But then again, there are good films in every genre, and I guess there are bad films in every genre, so I might have just got one of the good ones. I don't know if I'll enjoy other war films. I don't know. But I did enjoy this one. I usually say, in these films, Oh yeah, the acting was good. But I would especially like to highlight the acting in this one as being especially good. Usually when I say, oh yeah, the acting was good, it's just because I come out the other end and go, I didn't see any problems with the acting. But while I was in this one, I thought, flipping heck, I am really impressed with the acting. Uh, and it made me think, actors, if they're good, that's, that's really impressive, you know. If they're if they're a good actor, that they're, they're good at acting. You know, you know what I mean? Hugo Weaving was in it. Didn't know he was in it, but he was good. And also Vince Vaughn, who I thought was comedy only, but he wasn't comedy in this, and I thought he, he was he was good. But Andrew Garfield as the main lead. Ah, oh, he ah. Oh. I thought, he did a very, I thought he did a very good act. Did a big, good act. I've only ever seen him in Spider-Man, the ones that are amazing but actually aren't amazing. I've only seen him in those. And I liked him in those. I liked him in those. There's not that much else that I liked in those. But he, he, was, he was good as Spider-Man. But yes, the acting in this. And oh boy, the combat scenes, oh boy, the war is, I mean war is horrific, but in this film it was portrayed very horrific, like you feel like you're right in there, like there's long, long scenes where it's just, just lots of just people just being blown to bits and going through and, 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 and oh boy, and, and it's like, oh, I thought, it was a 12, but it was actually a 15, so it was a lot more gruesome than I was expecting, so it did me a shock. But that was probably good, because, you know, war's not a good thing, is it? And, oh boy. Oh boy. Also, jump scare. Got me. Usually, I'm not a fan of jump scares. But this one, oh, I think I landed in the row behind me. I was, I jumped so high. It was, oh boy. But I think the reason I liked this film, the main reason, was because it was very emotional. It got me right here. I didn't cry though. I did cry. I cried quite a lot. I never used to cry at films, but lately I've been crying at all the films. What, what, what have I become? But yes, it's very emotional. Invested me. Um... I want to say something else, but I can't think of anything and I don't want to repeat my points. But I'm going to repeat my points. It was emotional. It portrayed war as horrific, but it portrayed it well, and the acting was great, and... The jump scare, and it's 2017. But this is less than 2016 movies. But it's probably the last one. Let's put it on the chart. Probably, definitely, probably. The last film to be put on the chart. I'm going to put it there. That'll give it a nice home there uh, with uh, films that are very good up there. I don't like the chart so much as a rating system anymore because the more films I put on it, the harder it is 
to put more films on it, if you know what I mean. The It's more precise, like, because there's a lot of films I've liked, um, and especially this area here. I could, I could shuffle these around, probably, you ask me now, and ask me in a week's time, my opinions might be different. So, I think I will ditch the chart as a rating system after Leicester's 2016 movies. I'm still gonna review movies, but I'm not gonna rank them against each other like this. Because I think it's kind of unfair and difficult for me. So, thanks for watching. Probably, what is probably, definitely, probably the last episode of Leicester's 2016 movies in 2017. Goodbye. Okay, let's talk spoilers. Just kidding, let's not talk spoilers. Bye!